Hi guys, welcome to Sharon's Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to change the currency in selected cells in Google Sheets. I'm also going to show you how to set the default currency in the whole spreadsheet that you're currently using, as well as setting the default currency for your actual Google account. I've included a timestamp in the description below, so if you want to just jump to the section that you're interested in, then you can do that. So to begin with, I have um, a Google Sheets open here, which is an invoice that I did on a previous video, which I'll also include a link to the video in the description below as well. So to begin with we want to change the currency in just selected cells. So you can see in this invoice they're actually it's actually set as um, sterling at the moment and I want to actually change it to euros. So first thing you need to do is select the cells that you want where you want to change the currency. Uh, so we'll just do all of those. Then go to the toolbar at the top and click on the one, two, three, more number formats button. So you'll notice here, there's a section here, um, like a, a number format section here. And you can see here, these are all, all defaulted to sterling. Um, and at the moment it's set as currency sterling. So we want to change this now. So if you click on more formats at the bottom and then go to more currencies. So this opens up a list of every currency you can think of that is endless, this <laughs> huge list. So the very first one is the actual default currency that's selected at the moment. Then you have any other currencies that you've um, used recently and then the rest are just listed in alphabetical order. So we choose the one that you want to use. So in this example, I want to use euros. So I click on there and you'll see at the top here it's changed to euro and there's a little preview here of what it looks like. Now if you click on this, this box here with the two little arrows, if you click on there, you can actually see more formats for the currency that you've selected. So you can change the symbol position so the euro can be at the end if you want it to be or at the beginning and you can change your decimal places etc. So once you're happy with how it's looking, click on the green apply button and you can see these are all now changed to euros and that's how to change the currency as and when you need to purely on the selected cells. Next I want to look at how to set the currency default in the active sheet. This is if you want to change the default currency just in this sheet that you're currently using. So to do that click on file in the toolbar, go down to spreadsheet settings, so you change the locale to wherever you're based and then click save settings and that automatically changes the currency to match. So for example, this one's actually set to United Kingdom, which is why my currency was defaulted to sterling. I'm actually based in Ireland, so I want to change this to Ireland. So if I go to Ireland and click save settings and my default currency will now change to euros, but this is purely for this particular spreadsheet that I'm in now. Click on the one, two, three, more number formats button. And you can see here the default section here for currency is now defaulted to euros. So that's, that's fine if you just want to change the currency for a particular sheet that you're currently using. Next, I'm going to show you how to set the currency default for your actual Google account. So in order to change it on all of the apps used in Google Drive, you need to change the language settings in your main Google account. So you click on the Google account image in the top right corner and then click manage your Google account and you brought to this screen, click on manage your data and personalization and then scroll down to the section called general preferences for the web, which is here. Click on language. So you can see my default language is English and the country is United Kingdom. This is why everything was set to sterling. So I want to actually change it to Ireland so that then my currency will be defaulted to euros. So I click on the pencil on the right hand side to edit the setting. So first I need to search for the language. So if I just put in English, then it says select your country and I'll check, I'll just select Ireland and click on select. So now my language is English and my country is set as Ireland. So once you're happy with that, click on the back arrow for language, it takes you back to the data and personalization page. And then you can just come out of that. It all, everything saves automatically. So you can just come out of that. So now I want to test that this has actually worked. If I come out of the invoice in here, and if I go to a new Google Sheets blank spreadsheet, so this is a brand new spreadsheet. And if I click on the one, two, three more number formats button here, you can see everything is now defaulted to euros. So that's it. I hope you found this helpful. As I said before, I'll include a link to the actual how to create an invoice from a template in Google Sheets. I'll include a link to that in the description below. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy learning.